Hello everybody, welcome to The Geek's Handbag, coming to you from somewhere in the middle of nowhere. I hope you're keeping well. Today I'm going to be taking a look at some of my Doctor Who autographs. So I keep my autographs in these folders, and the first folder is fairly organised. It's all actors from the classic series of Doctor Who, from the William Hartnell era right the way through to the Sylvester McCoy era. After that the folders get a little bit more jumbled, so there's more classics as well as some actors from the new series, and then it's more TV and film, stuff like Star Wars and Blake 7. So let's start with the first folder. So yes, William Russell, a genuinely lovely person to meet. So I've met him a couple of times over the years. Nice picture, looks like it's from an earthly child, so just to add on William Russell. Uh, this is one that a friend actually got for me, so I, I was beginning to think I'd never meet William Russell, so my friend got this signed and sent it to me, to Adam William Russell, and then uh, a little while later I met Caroline Ford and I got her to sign it as well, so nice to have both signatures on there. Unfortunately the ant is no longer with us so I couldn't sign it. Uh, Caroline Ford also got this nice autograph from her. I really like her autograph, I think it's quite striking, uh, so from the Daleks there, that's a nice picture. This is a bit of an odd one, it's not a particularly nice photograph of a Vord, but um, the reason is, I had a really good one, it was of a Vord holding Susan, quite a famous picture, uh, but when I took it to the actor, Peter Stevenson, he said that um, it was the wrong Vord, he could tell by the headpiece, apparently they all had different symbols on, so uh, I went back and changed it for this quite murky picture, but at least it's the actor inside the suit, so that's that one. This was a free print of some fish people from the Underwater Menace, a really nice print, and there was a couple of the fish people there, Mary McMillan and Catherine Hawes, I think it is. Um, I, I can't remember if their autographs were free or just £5, but uh, as they were there I thought I'd get that print signed, and it's a really nice print. Uh, this is two pictures that I printed off to take to Forbidden Planet when Fraser and Carol Ann were doing a book signing at Forbidden Planet, so nice picture of Pat and the Second Doctor, uh, sorry, Fraser and the Second Doctor, and uh, yeah, Carol Ann Ford, uh, quite a dark signature, but you can probably just see it on there. Oh yes, the lovely Annika Wills, who played Polly. Um, she's always very nice when I've met her at conventions and uh, different things, and I met her at the BFI a couple of times. She's really nice and uh, like that picture of Polly. Ah, talking to lovely people. Deborah Watling. Now this is a picture that I got when the Who shop first opened. Uh, I think she was there for the opening day got, uh, many, many years ago. Uh, it's got a little bit stained over the years, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, still nice to have Deborah's signature. But I was lucky enough to meet her again uh, in Cardiff many, many years later and get this much nicer photograph to Adam. Love Deborah Watling. And I had a lovely chat for her that day. She was such a lovely person and very much missed. And I love that photo, I really treasure that one. This is another great pick from the mighty Fraser Hines. He's such a dude, I love Fraser. Again, met him a couple of times over the years. He's got a really cool signature, always fun to meet. And uh, from a story, I really like the mind robber. Nice to have a color photo of that as well to see the white robots and Zoe's sparkly suit. Talking to Zoe, Zoe, Deborah Watling. Um, a strange picture, this one. I'm trying to think where I got it. Um, Panoptigan, I think, many years ago or something like that. Probably tells me on the bottom, but yeah, to Adam Love. Again, Wendy, Pe Wendy Padbury, lovely person to meet. Um, this one obviously is uh, some sort of fan made picture of her with some Cybermen, but uh, I think that's the first auto I got from her, so it's nice to have. But many years later, I did get this. Beautiful print signed by Wendy, and uh, I'm much happier with that. I think that's lovely. Not sure who did the artwork, but it's a really nice print. Um, a Cyberman, Barry Noble, I think that is. All the best. Uh, probably from a Phantom event. Um, just fancied meeting a Cyberman. I probably just like the picture, so got him to sign that. Now then, here's one of the best people ever to meet, Katie Manning. Ah, oh, I just love Katie. She is without doubt one of the nicest people to meet at a convention. Uh, she's got a cracking autograph, as you can see. And I love that picture. Look at her wee face. Yeah, lovely. I love me. You can never meet Katie enough. Uh, this is a signed print of Katie, which I uh, didn't get done in person. This was from the Stamp Centre in London. I think they still sell these online. They used to sell these nice prints and uh, they're already signed, um, you know, absolutely genuine. I uh, went to a couple of signings at the Stamp Centre itself, so it's a nice one of Katie. And I've also got this one signed by Katie as well, and uh, Stuart signed it, which again is a lovely looking print with the maggots. 
I've met Katie a few times. <laughs> also got this picture of her and Stuart as well, both signed on that one. Again, really nice picture. I've seen this in colour actually. I'd, I'd like a colour version of it as well, but yeah, it looks nice in black and white. Very nostalgic. Wow, here's an autograph I treasure. Got to be careful with this. It's quite quite flimsy. To Adam from Nicholas Courtney, yes. I um, only met Nicholas once. He was a lovely, lovely man. I think the you know the perfect description of him is a really nice gentleman just a, a gentleman and uh, yeah i'm very very pleased to have got his autograph nice auto too just need to be careful it's very flimsy paper traitor <laughs> sorry it's richard franklin of course captain yates uh, i think that's yes yeah, from the who shop oh it's got the date on there 10th of september 2011 my word doesn't time fly. Well, you can't have Yates without, of course, John Levine. Benton! Uh, I've, met, um, I've met John Levine a few times over the years. Uh, that's probably the most famous pick of him, and uh, he's got quite a nice auto. Quite often signed in silver as well, I've noticed, because I've also got this one of him, also signed in silver. Uh, love and peace, Adam John Levine. It's a cool pick. Uh, this was, I think this was a free autograph actually, um, 10th Planet Events used to do free autographs for your tickets to Adam Best Wishes, Terek Martin. Uh, he was a really nice chap actually, he was also in EastEnders you might remember. Um, but yeah, I remember he was just a very friendly chatty chap. Uh, he's part of Havoc as well, so he did a lot of stunts and things. Uh, Patricia Mayard from the Fourth Doctor Story robot, and I got her to sign um, to Adam, <laughs> you are a traitor no has she put it right a traitor and a spy is what it says yeah which is what she says in the episode uh, best wishes from patricia mayard she was a very nice lady as well talking of robots michael kilgariff really big chap and uh, yeah i really like the uh, fourth doctor's opening story robot and um it's just something classic about that design so it's nice to have an autograph of it of course, if you're going to go to a fourth doctor, you've got to have Tom. And again, this is a picture from Robot. Uh, I remember Tom's face lit up when he saw this picture. He's like, ah, oh, that was from my first story. And he started talking about um, all the costumes he gets to wear in that scene. And uh, lovely big signature for Adam, Tom Baker, 1974. Yeah, you can tell it's Pert was old prop look with the dark TARDIS sign. Uh, this is a great photo side by Tom with K9. Of course, I love it because it's got K9 in it for Adam Tom Baker, Doctor Who 4, and the big long scarf, and a bottle of what's that? Whiskey on the floor as well. Who knew? Um, this one, I like the picture. I think it's from Stones of Blood, but I've never been very pleased with the autograph. It just says Adam Tom Baker. Uh, I wish I'd got him to write like best wishes or something, but I quite often get very sort of shy uh, when meeting celebrities, so I probably didn't ask him for anything. But yep, yeah, still nice to have a signed picture. This is one that um, again from the Stamp Centre in London, uh, possibly before I'd ever met Tom. I can't remember, but yeah, it's signed at the top. I hope you can see that because it's quite faint. Tom Baker, Dot 2 4. Obviously, completely the wrong Daleks, but it's a, ni it's a nice enough picture. Um, yeah, this one's probably better from the same place, the uh, Stamp Centre in London. As I said, I think these might still be available to buy, I'm not sure. So, nice print from Fan Rock for Adam. Tom Baker, 03. Gosh, well, yeah, I really like that one. I think it's a nice print. This was uh, Tom signed. So you got this. This was from a Timey Wimey event in Brighton, a convention that Louise Jameson helped organise. And part of the ticket um, included this free autograph. So when you got your uh, pack when you arrived, this was already in there, signed by Tom. Uh, so he's written Tom Baker 4 and then his, the dates on there. So that's quite nice. Um, I kind of regret, I know a lot of people got all these people to sign this print as well and I kind of wish I had but at the time I just wanted to keep it signed by Tom. This is an autograph I absolutely treasure. God you can see my hand shaking just holding it. Uh, the wonderful Elizabeth Sladen who I met uh, I think it was at Panopticon uh, a couple of years well many years ago and uh, yeah I love that photo I love her signature and uh, it's a bit of a prize in my collection that one. Uh, another Cyberman, Christopher Robbie, the Cyber Leader from, uh, um, what's he called? Not Rem Rem. Revenge, isn't it? Revenge of the Cybermen. Yep. Uh, that's a nice pick. Marin! 
<laughs> Cynthia, oh, what's her name? I've forgotten her surname. So I can't read it either. Guinevere, maybe. Um, from the brain of Morbius, which is a story I love. Uh, she was so much fun. I mean, um, I hope she won't mind me saying, but she's, you know, she's of a certain age now. She's she's getting on a bit, and. Um, she was just really batty and bonkers and fun and she wouldn't stay still for the photo when I was trying to get a photo with her. She was pulling all lots of silly faces. Uh, Philip Maddock. This was a surprise autograph. Um, so I went to a premiere of uh, the Matt Smith episode, The Eleventh Hour, in a pub. Um, I can't remember which convention organised it. And I'm walking around after watching The Eleventh Hour and just meeting fans and stuff. And I see Philip Maddock sat at a table signing autographs and he had a little um, Morbius figure in his pocket. So, yeah, it's quite a small signature. I hope you can see it at the bottom of the page there, but it's a nice thing to have. It was a nice surprise. This is a glorious print to Adam Louise Jameson. Um, yeah, I can't remember where I got this. It might have been Timey Wimey, I think, the event she organised, and uh, Louise has got a lovely signature. But uh, that's a great print. Um, I've got this autograph as well, so you can see her autograph a bit better on that one. Uh, Louise Jameson, again, a really lovely person to meet at conventions. Really, really friendly and chatty. Chief Commander Paul, David Collins, a uh, photo from Robots of Death, a story I really, really like. Uh, he was very chatty and I caught him right at the end of the day to get that signature. I think he was he was leaving and um, he'd actually got his coat on, I think. Uh, but yeah, very, very friendly guy. Very nice to meet. Uh, from the same story, D84. Oh, I've forgotten the actor's name and I can't read his signature either. Uh, but uh, D84, obviously a brilliant character in the Robots of Death. And I just thought it'd be good to get his autograph. Sorry, I can't remember your name. Uh, from another great... Fourth Doctor story, Christopher Benjamin, um, as you'd imagine. Again, very, very nice to meet. And a cool pick there. And you can't have one without the other. And of course, the late uh, Trevor Baxter as well, with a fun picture from Talon. So it's nice, always keep those two together. Tail Wags from K9, John Leeson himself. That's a nice photo. I think any of you regular viewers to my channel will know how much I love uh, K9. So. That's a nice pick to have. And here he is with uh, somebody slightly different, with Matt Irvin, or Irvine, uh, who's the effects guy, who does a lot of props and models for Classic Who and Blake Seven and things. So that's cool. Lala Ward, the noblest Romana of them all. I remember the first time I met Lala thinking she was a bit spiky, a bit standoffish, but actually I was totally wrong. She just doesn't suffer any falls. And I've met her a couple of times over the years and I've really got to like her. I think she's a really, really nice person. Uh, but yeah, as I said, she just doesn't mince her words, uh, but nice picture and a nice auto. Scarif, Lord of the Jaggeroth, but also Julian Glover in disguise as Count Scaliani. A really nice chap, very, very friendly. Somewhere, I've got another, probably one of the other folders. I've got a picture of him as uh, Scaroff, the Jaggeroff, and um, he's put a nice. He remembered it at the time, which I liked. So uh, that'll be in folder two, I suspect. I have to look out for that one. Ah, the boy genius, Matthew Waterhouse. Uh, that's a print that I got from the uh, stamp centre. I like that. Probably before I met him, and uh, uh, since then I've met him quite a few times. So I've got this picture. Um, oh, he hasn't got the star on there. Normally he draws the star, but uh, yeah, he's got a very messy signature, isn't he? There's the star. He quite often draws that when he signs his autographs. Another one. Is that from Full Circle, possibly? And um, Sarah Sutton. A lovely picture from Keeper of Trark, and I really like that. And uh, a nice signature on there as well. Oh, the crispy mask. I've forgotten I got this one. Uh, Jeffrey Beavers, a new body at last. What a great photo. Yeah, gosh, I've forgotten I got that auto. Um, that was at a Phantom event. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, this is an odd one. Don't really like this picture. It's, uh, well, it's all right. I mean, it's Peter Davison. Um, I don't know, actually. It's, it's an odd one. It was, it was at the first time I met him at a convention in Panopticon, I think it was called, many, many years ago. And I didn't even realise at the time that he was in the first uh, in his costume, Fifth Doctor's costume. And also there's a shadow of a Dalek on the wall. So it's interesting, actually. The more I look at it, the more I like it. It just doesn't feel very doctory, if you know what I mean. It looks like something out of Praro or something. But yeah. Anyway, I've met Peter a couple of times since then and got this signed print from the stamp centre from uh, is that Snake Dance or Kinder? 
not sure. Uh, but this is the one I really like because I just love the look of the TARDIS in it. Uh, the TARDIS just looks really chunky and uh, oh, it looks, gosh look, they did a good job there didn't they? And uh, yeah, Peter's got quite a cool autograph but yeah, really happy with that fifth Doctor picture. Here's the girls, right. Good day, Adam, Janet Fielding, Tegan and Sarah Sutton. Uh, that's from, what store is that from? Um, Castro Velva, isn't it? We're in the Zero Room. Uh, but I prefer this one uh, from <laughs> from Black Orchid. Uh, I think that's great. Um, signed by both of them. Uh, I haven't got Peter to sign it. I probably should if I meet him again. But yeah, it's a nice one. Uh, Janet Fielding, uh, a bit like Lala Ward. Very much likes to speak her mind. Uh, she was very, very friendly when I met her. And she's put on there again. Good day, Adam. Janet Fielding. Uh, she looks a bit morbid in that picture. That she looks a bit grumpy, but she's a very nice person to be. Um, nice to meet you, Mark Strickson, the evil Turlo. I love the fact he always does his little symbol uh, when he signs his autograph as well. Nice picture of Turlo in the TARDIS. The mighty David Banks, the cyber leader. I remember he was a bit miffed that I'd uh, chosen this picture, which uh, doesn't show how tall he is. Um, but it's a great picture, I think, of Cyberlead. He also spotted this sellotape um, round here. It's an explosive charge. Yeah, so it must have been taken uh, just before they set it off and blew him up. Ah, this is an awesome signature. Terry Malloy as Davros. Um, he's a great ch chap to meet. Uh, I just love his signature. Looks great. Brilliant picture of Davros from Resurrection of the Daleks, which is um, a story I think Terry is fantastic in. Yeah. Oh, we've got a doctor. There's a doctor in the house. Colin Baker with an odd print. Um, that is from Stamp Center again, I think. Yeah, it must be. And uh, yeah, it's pretty unusual. I like the TARDIS on the Big Brens Bridge there. But I prefer this picture. That's Colin, isn't it? That is Colin in all his glory. I love that picture of the doctor. Uh, nice big signature of Colin as well. Uh, it doesn't stop there, though, because <laughs> I've met Colin quite a few times. There's that one. He's uh, doing something in the TARDIS. And there's this one uh, where he's doing some fishing, which is cool. You can't have the Sixth Doctor without Barry in a very fetching headband um, to add a Nicola Bryant. Very, very, very nice person to meet. And uh, yeah, cool signature. Oh, this is another one I'd almost forgotten I had as well. And a Bill Shaban uh, as Sil. Yes, I met him at. Um, Ooh, must have been a Collector Mania or something. Uh, one of the Showmasters events. Gosh, that's a long time ago. Yeah, that's very nice. Always one with a few signatures on. So, uh, this was a limited edition print from Nicola Bryant's table. Um, so, at the time, it was just signed by Nicola. Now, I've got it signed by Colin and, uh, and Fraser as well. Sadly, I'll never forget Pat to sign it, but that's obviously from the two Doctors. The Evil Valiard, Michael Jason. Again, I can't remember where I got that. Um, because I remember meeting him at Panopticon, but I don't think it was from that event, bizarrely. Because I remember I got him to sign a little postcard at that event. That might be from one of the 10th Planet events, but yeah, nice to have a big signature of him. I don't know what happened to the little postcard I got signed. One of my favorite doctors, Sylv, at the TARDIS, the helm of the TARDIS. Um, I just really like that picture simply because it's in the TARDIS. You can see his hat and umbrella and cool signature by Sylv. Got another one signed by Sylv from Remembrance of the Daleks, which is really good. See the crumpled Dalek head behind him there? Don't know what happened there. Obviously, docked probably where Ace bashed it with a baseball bat. Uh, this is a print from the stamp center, so that would have been pre signed. Uh, but I like the story, obviously, great show in the galaxy. The Seventh Doctor's first companion, Bonnie Langford, Melanie Bush. <laughs> I know I keep saying this, but she's like everyone seems genuinely nice to me, but she is lovely, Bonnie, if you get a chance to meet her. Uh, must be in the other folder. I've got a really cool picture of her from um, Time in the Rani. It's, it's a better picture than that. It's a really good one. One of my all time favourite companions to the Seventh Doctor is Ace and Sophie Aldred. <laughs> Once again, genuinely a lovely person to meet. She really is nice. Um, I'm sure as we go through these photos, by the way, if I do come across some that weren't nice, I will tell you. Uh, but yeah, Sophie is genuinely a lovely person to meet. This would have been a signed, pre-signed print from the stamp centre of Silver Nemesis, which is nice. Uh, this one looks like it's from Battlefield, I think. Yes, because Bess is in it. 
Uh, so it's a nice signature, Sophie. Talking to Batfield, this is a bit of an unusual one. So I got this one signed by Sophie and Ling Tai. Uh, so I remember she was at a Phantom event, and uh, yeah, it's really nice to meet both of them and get that picture signed by both. Don't know if it was at the same event, but on the curse of Fenric, Nicholas, uh, I nearly called him Nicholas Courtney then, sorry, Nicholas Parsons. Um, he's really good in that story, I think, and it was lovely to see him on the making of talking about how proud he was to be in it, so it's nice to have that autograph. And finally in the folder, from Ghostlight, but an odd one, to Adam Ian Hogg. A scary character, but quite a good photo. And that is all the autographs in folder one. Yes, and there's plenty more autographs to see in my other folders, and I'll be taking a look at those in future videos. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, check out The Geek's Handbag on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And don't forget, I also do a weekly Dot2 podcast with Gary that goes every Friday called The Big Blue Box Podcast, so do give that a listen. But until the next time, guys, take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.